Hey everyone, welcome back to Your 6 Covered. Here today to talk about the Rescue Link Plus. Think how many times we go out into the forest if we're going by ourselves and you know just hoping and banking that uh, no emergencies arise. Well sometimes when you're on a long trek or way out in the distance where rescue personnel are uh, you know hours and hours away you can bring along your trusty friend called the Rescue Link Plus. And what's nice about this is it's a personal location beacon that uh, is the smallest and lightest on the market today. And it weighs in at 4.6 ounces. But it is a very nice unit that can be uh, attached to your backpack and that kind of stuff. And I'll get into it and I'll open the box and show you what's in here. But I'll show you what, what's entailed. It has three levels of integrated signal technology, one being GPS positioning. It has a powerful 406 megahertz signal and a 121.5 megahertz homing capability. So quickly and accurately relays your position to a worldwide network of search and rescue satellites where they will be honed in on your position and be there as soon as they can. What's nice is it has a built-in strobe that'll flash. You know, if it's nighttime, you can uh, be seen from far distances with the flashing strobe. And it's nice because it has a, a test, so you can test it out to make sure that everything's working before you go on the trail. And it'll send you a it'll send you an email or an SMS message telling you that everything's good before you go on your journey. So the specs, like I said earlier, was 4.6 ounces or 130 grams. Waterproof up to 16.40 feet. Um, and it, the battery run life is for 30 hours. And the best part is it's made in the great US of A. But the battery has a long, long shelf life. And I'll show you here. So, let's open it up. See there, you'll see it's buoyant and floatable. It's the world's smallest buoyant 406 megahertz GPS personal locator beacon. So first off, looking at it, it's nice and light. It's about the size of an old flip phone that you would use or did use. Um, it's a little thicker. It's about, oh, there we go. It's about an inch and a half thick. But here's how it works. You get the thing, you fill out some paperwork here, and you send it in. That way they'll know once you, uh, if you ever have to signal, they will know who the beacon's coming from. So here's the paperwork on it. You just register it, it's free of charge. But then if, uh, if your alarm is ever activated, they know who they're looking for. And uh, that makes it quite nice. So first impressions of this Rescue Link Plus. It's lightweight, which is nice. It has two really nice straps that you can run uh, some Velcro to your backpack or wherever you're going to mount it to. And here the battery life is 6 20, 20. So that's pretty nice. Now if for some reason you do have to activate this, the company will send you in a new one, which is really nice, I think. So it's just a one-time purchase. So it retails for around 350 bucks. And for 350 bucks, if you're gonna do some serious hiking or more dirt motorcycle riding or whatever far out in the middle of nowhere where uh, cell coverage is, is uh, very minimal, this is something that you're definitely gonna wanna have on you. But the retail price, yeah, 325. So let's get into it. <clears throat> first things first, 
It's made and designed well because you can't accidentally hit the buttons. The buttons are located underneath this plastic piece right here, which is an antenna once I unhook it. But the test button and the actual on button to get the thing flashing, strobing, and to call out for an emergency is all protected. So if you're walking down the fields, it doesn't bump into a bush or anything. It doesn't screw it up. So how you activate this is it, it's a little thing here. You just push this forward and the band comes off, which is the antenna. And then when you lift the antenna up, you will see that there's two buttons here. And it's, it's got a T on it for test. And it's got a power button right here. That shows the symbol of the power button. So from there, you just basically, you would activate it and wait for help to arrive. Here's the end of the antenna, which is kind of neat. But it easily stores away, so after the test, you just turn it off, wrap this back underneath here, like that, and then this goes on there, and it clicks in, and now you're good to go again. You tested it, it's sending you an email or a message to your phone, and you know that you're uh, going to be protected on the... On the trail you make sure your battery is uh, within par and I got plenty of time left on this since it's 2014 there's six years left and that's it a quick view just remember when you're out by yourself unfortunately having a great time hiking in those mountains hills forests deserts whatever the case may be riding dirt bikes um, kayaking along some beautiful majestic uh, River, if something was to go wrong, you have a, you have this. Or something similar. Just, you know, look into what you're looking for. But this rescue link is nice because it is floatable. This is the flotation part on it. So it'll float up with the antenna sticking up. But that's, that's basically the system there. Just wanted to give you a quick review on it. You can't really review it. If you review it, you're going to have a... Depending on where you're at, the Coast Guard or the search and rescue helicopter flying above your house. So um, you can test it and make sure that that works, but you never want to activate it unless there is an emergency. If you do have small kids and you have it uh, attached to your backpack, you know, make sure it's uh, kids, kids know how to turn everything on. So um, keep it out of their way so you don't have any of those emergency services getting wasted and, uh, you know, coming to save you when you don't need saving but that's it inside of the box is just a few forms the one registration form i showed you there's the registration form one thing too in california a couple days ago there was a motorcyclist that was out dirt bike riding he didn't have this one he had a different one but he, uh, he had some massive trauma and was incapacitated on being able to, you know, get back to his vehicle and get to the hospital. And where he was at, the cell service was, you know, there wasn't any. So he actually activated this. The rescue companies came, the sheriff's department um, sent ground troops by ground and by air. And uh, they flew in a medic to help him out. And then flew him out. So it was a it was a great deal. Actually, I'm not sure if they flew him out or if they transported him once they found him via ambulance or not. But um, he was definitely out in the middle of the sticks. So these do work. They have saved people. Lucky for the gentleman that was riding the motorcycle, he he was smart enough and had the ability to save up his money and purchase one of these. You know, if you have, if you're hiking or if you're motorcycle riding, you know, you hear two is one and one is none. That really is a true statement, you know. And if for some reason, you know, you can't find someone to ride with you and you can't schedule a different day or you, you just have to go hiking by yourself, please make sure you got something like this. Make sure your family or friends know that you're going to be gone on a trail for a certain amount of time so they know when they should start to worry. Um, so remember, is your six covered?